never remember a time when, uh, when artwork was not the most important thing. I'm known almost exclusively by the mural stuff. It gets a lot of press. So, you know, people know, oh yeah, that's the mural guy, you know. Um, <laughs> Murals, I mean, it's, it's great fun to paint on walls. It, shoot, I mean, even after I've, I've sloshed through maybe 200 murals, God, you know, really a lot. And, and I still, you know, when I see a big naked wall, you know, I still say, God, what can we do with this? You know, you think, you know, you think the blue would be off the rose, you know, but there are, there are walls around town that I would do without pay just because I want to do the walls. There's this sense of um, renewal of life when you step up to a great big naked wall and, and a naked sheet of paper as well. I mean, yeah, there is, yeah, a renewal of life. That's um, the world will be different because what you're doing now. And that's, that's really kind of neat. That's, um, um, I know people don't think of it that way, but it's true. Of course, we live in a, a visual culture Every single day of your life, you will probably see a thousand advertisements, and 999 of them go through to right out of your head. You don't even visually recognize them, which is really kind of too bad because people become not visually attuned. They miss things. I mean, not not advertising, but miss all kinds of things. I have found that people, you know, are are visually, you know, oblivious to most of the stuff that's going around them, and I think it's because we are inundated with images that mean nothing or are annoying and advertising is of course one of them. Now murals on the other hand you get a wall and you're not expecting an advertisement and it's not an obviously not an advertisement. It's a different kind of realm and suddenly you step into a different kind of space mentally and people notice it. It's funny they don't always. Incredibly we paint a lot of gigantic murals and people walk right by and don't look at it, don't notice it. The most fundamentally important thing about making a mural work is the same thing as, as making painting work on a, on a canvas, on a regular easel painting, is that all elements of the painting have to push together, work together. And it's really, really, really critical. If you can do that, then, then you've got something. Paintings die because they're, because you look at it and you suddenly realize, well, this center part, that's really important, but the stuff over in the left-hand corner has nothing to do with the center part. And the painting dies because of that. And then probably the artist who did it doesn't realize it. And boy, if you, if you get all elements of the painting, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be pictorial. In other words, the, the space could be perfectly blank, but it is it is doing an important job in the context of the entire work. That's really, really, really critical. And, 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 that's, and I feel like the understanding of that problem comes from drawing. I, I feel that's essentially a drawing matter. And that is very complicated and you, it, you, and you won't understand it until you've drawn a few thousand drawings. And then you will understand. If you want to get involved in the mural business, now, that's a whole different realm. And uh, people have asked me this and I give them the same advice. Go around town, find a wall that you like. Okay, that, that, you know, that's seen by a lot of people. Uh, it's not gigantic. Uh, it's doable, that the surface is okay. Okay, find a wall that you like. And I know about 10 around town that I'd love to do. Um, hunt down the people who own the building, then go home, Make an illustration. There's that drawing thing again. Make an illustration. Don't do it in black and white. Do it in full color. Yes, I know it's, you're going to suck up a lot of time and you're not going to get paid for it. I realize that. That's okay. You're working toward the future. Just assume the time is spent wisely, and it will be. Make it good. I mean, don't make it sloppy. Make it damn good. And, and take it to the people who own the building and say, look, I want to paint this on the side of your building. It's not going to cost you a dime, nothing. Can we do it? And sometimes they'll say, yeah, that's a neat idea. And they'll sometimes even say, well, gee whiz, maybe we can help you buy the paint or, you know, that kind of stuff. But if they don't, that's okay. Find the money to buy the paint, find the money to rent the scaffold and do it. Once you do one, you've got it. You are doing it because the whole world suddenly is going to look at your thing and say, damn, this kid can paint. 
and the whole world will suddenly beat a path to your door. Eight months later, you will be busy. <laughs> and that's what you're aiming at. So that's, that's my advice.